Hello students, let's start studying life cycle of diatom. This video has been divided into two parts. Part 1. As usual, let us start with classification or systematic position. Division, chrysophyta, reasons, excess of carotene, xanthophyll imparts yellow color, reserved food material in the form of leucosin and oil droplets, starches absent. Class, Bacillariophyce, unicellular yellow-brown algae, possesses excess of carotene and diatomine. Reserve food material is oil and volutine. Order penales with bilateral symmetry, freshwater forms, presence of raphe. Stratospore formation does not take place. Family Naviculaceae. Penales, I am talking about order, and genus is Navicula. So that will be penale diatoms. Or we have order centrales, centric diatoms. Unicells, the shape of the cell is like circular pillbox. Mostly marine, bear radial markings. Stratospore formation does take place. And family, Triceramaceae and genus is Triceratium. Now, occurrence. Where they are found? They are both freshwater as well as marine. They are found abundant in almost all types of habitats like ponds, lakes and damp soil. They are extremely abundant in marine waters and form an important group of plankton. Some have been found in hot springs also. They are also known as pearls of ocean. Now we talk about thallus structure. The diatom cell is diploid. It is sporophyte. Unicellular. The tiny unicells occur isolated. Generally you will find them isolated. But sometimes the unicellular thalli get attached because of the mucilaginous sheath to form colonies. The colonies may be filamentous or may be enclosed in a common gelatinous envelope. Diatom cell is made up of two cell walls. The inner one cellulose, outer one pactic substances which is also impregnated with hydrated silica. The cell is called the frustule actually. The frustule in turn is made up of two halves called the thicke. They fit closely together like the lid of a box. The big thicke is always old and is called epithica, while as a small, slightly small is called hypothica. The two together fit like a, like a, like a lid of a box and the margins overlap. Where the margins of the halves overlap, that is called girdle. So that's why the diatom cell represents, represents two waves. The girdle view and the wall view. The first picture you saw was the girdle view where you could see the overlapping halves. And here this is the wall view where you can see the side view. You can see the, the nodules can be observed and a, in the center of the cell uh, you can see running a cleft like structure. A, it is called raphe. And you can also see the markings on the uh, the on the, the, the cell wall, uh, both in the girdle view as well as in the wall view. And these uh, markings, these uh, striae are made up of small dots which are equidistant and these dots are called puncti. Well, as you observed, we have wall markings. Actually, it is a deposition of silica on the wall. On the basis of mar markings, the wall face diatoms are grouped into two orders, the centrales and the pinnails. In centrales, the markings are radial, while in pinnails, the markings spread out in parallel series, one on either side of a strip. The action strip with a longitudinal cleft is called raphe, while the wall without cleft is called pseudo raphe. Wall markings. We want to study how many types of wall markings you can uh, see. You can see striae, you can see uh, the uh, canaliculi, costi, aeroli. So these are the various types of wall markings you can observe. The walls contain many ridges, pits and fine folds arranged in a geometric pattern. The fine markings on ridges on the valves are called striae. The striation appears to be composed of fine dots which represent small pits called puncti. The valve is almost provided with large number of coarse depressions called aeroli. The elongated canals running along the valve face are called canaliculi, while the thick rib-like structures present on the valve are called costi. These are formed due to heavy deposition of silica in the cell wall in regular manner. 
the costi are chiefly responsible for providing mechanical support to the cell wall in the beginning we talked about the cleft like structure we call it as raphi so what is a raphi you can see right in the center of the diatom in the valve face you can see a cleft like structure and this cleft like structure is called raphi it runs from one end of the valve to the other it also bears three large enlargements one at this pole another at this pole and one in the center so these are called nodules this one is called the two at the polar ends are called polar nodules and right in the center one is called the central nodule protoplast protoplast is differentiated into cytoplasm single nucleus and many chromatophores uh, right in the center of the cell is a big vacuole. That's why the nucleus is held in the center by virtue of cytoplasmic strands. It's a eukaryote, well-defined nucleus. Cytoplasm contains mitochondria, ribosomes, Golgi body, and chromatophores. And chromatophores contain pigments. Pigments, pineal diatoms have one or more two chromatophores, whereas in centrales, they, they are innumerable chromatophores now we talk about movements in diatoms centric diatoms are non-motile well as finite diatoms with raphi should jerky movements both in forward and backward directions there are three hypotheses muller's hypothesis lotter bonds hypothesis and modern hypothesis according to muller's hypothesis locomotion is brought about by the water currents and by streaming movements of the cell cytoplasm and according to Lauterborn's hypothesis, the movement is caused by excessive mucilage secretion at one end of the cell and its backward flow. The mucilage surrounding the cells show movements from anterior nodule to posterior nodule. And you can see the figure. The directions have been shown with the help of the arrows. From central nodule originate gelatinous thread showing moving in uh, backward direction. These backward moving mucilaginous threads help in forward movement. Since they are moving in the backward direction, so the diatom gets projected uh, forwards. According to modern, hypo modern hypothesis, there is a rhythmic contraction caused by contractile fibrillar system. The locomotor fibrils initiate mucilage secretion, which helps in locomotion. With this, I stop here the first part of the uh, diatom life cycle. And a big thank you to you. Please don't forget to watch the second part of the video. Please like it, share it and subscribe it. Thank you.